template 12 is finally here guys so this is a nice clean little template that has a nice smooth transition in a stroke effect that goes behind the text and then in front of it and then a transition out that gives it a bit of character. I posted this template on my Discord server yesterday, so the people on my Discord server got early access to this template. If you wanna get early access to my templates in the future, make sure to join my Discord, the link is in the description below. So anyway, now to getting into editing the template. With the new update, the first thing you wanna decide now is whether you wanna do a featured artwork showcase or a regular artwork showcase. They've got different dimensions. If you don't know what a featured artwork showcase is, there will be a card in the top right hand corner of the screen now explaining what they are. So just click that if you wanna learn more. But for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna make a regular artwork showcase today. So I'm going to double click on regular artwork and then it shows up down here. I'm going to click out of featured artwork because I don't need that one. Now we've got what we need to start editing. So I've got the regular artwork showcase, which has those dimensions. I'm going to double click my main text to open it up. And this is where we edit our text. If you need to change the size, the font or anything, do it in this panel now, because you do not want to be messing around with the pre comps because it will mess up the whole thing. So please, please, please do it in this panel. So I'm going to change the name to Sabuna. And if I wanted to make it smaller, I can mess with the settings here, but I'm just going to leave it as it was. If I wanted to change the color, I can go up to the effects controls and change the fill here to whatever color you like, but I really like how it looks being white. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the main comp now, and then I'm going to change the color of my stroke. So I'm going to click on the stroke pre-comp, go to effects controls, open up the fill, and then you can change it to whatever color you like, just like with the text. So I'm going to change it to this pastel purple. I like that. Play it through, see if you like it. Then head over to steam.design, find a background you like. I'm just going to use this one. Download the zip, open it up, find whichever artwork showcase you're going to use. So I'm going to be using the middle for this one. If you're doing a featured artwork showcase, you want to use artwork underscore featured but since I'm doing a regular one, I just need the middle. Now I'm going to drag that into my project panel here and then drag it down beneath everything on whichever main comp you're doing. So you see here, now we've got our background. That's looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. Now we're going to render it. So I'm going to go to file, export, add to render queue. I'm going to click on output module where it says lossless. I'm going to go to my format, change it to a PNG sequence, and then I'm going to choose where to save it. So I'm just going to save it in my root folder here as regular artwork, and it's going to render to a folder. So it might take longer on your computer, but just give it some time and it'll let you know when it's done with that nice little bell. Once we've got it rendered out, we just need to open up Photoshop for the next step. Once we've got Photoshop open, we want to click open and then navigate to where we saved our folder. So mine was in my root folder under regular artwork. You're going to open it up, select the first image and click image sequence. The frame rate for this template is 30 FPS. So make sure you set it to that and press OK. Once you open it up, you want to go to window and then go to timeline to open this timeline down here. And you just want to make sure that it's everything you want. There's no glitches in the render or anything. So that looks good to me. So I'm going to go to File, Export, Save for Web Legacy. Make sure the format is GIF. Change any settings you want if you need to compress it. Change the animation looping options to forever and then save it to wherever you like. So I'm going to save it to the downloads as artwork, template 12. Next thing we're going to do is go to our Steam profile on Chrome. And then we're going to go down to our artwork tab here upload our artwork, not game specific. I'm just going to name it template 12, template 12 down here as well. Choose your file you want to upload. Then I'm going to navigate to where I saved it. I saved mine in downloads under artwork template 12. I'm going to open it. Then our next step is to press F12. Make sure that we're on our console here. Then you want to copy and paste this code that I'm going to put in the description and press enter. You should get a feedback of one, then you can close it out. 
and then scroll down, certify that you created the artwork and save and continue. Once you've done that, you can return to your profile, click edit profile, go to featured showcase, and then go to artwork showcase, click the image, and then click the most recent image you've uploaded, which will be in the top left. Scroll down to the bottom and click save. And now you see I've got this artwork on my profile. It doesn't match the background because this is just for the sake of a tutorial, but it still looks pretty nice. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this template. And for those of you that have been begging me to bring back top five Steam profiles of the week, get ready because it's gonna be coming back very soon. I hope you guys are as excited as I am for that. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more Steam content, that's what my whole channel is about. Please click the subscribe button. I've got plenty of more content on the way. And with that, I'll see you guys next week.